Hi, I'm Rebecca L. Matthews and I'm a Christian fiction author and I've just written a blog today about life I wanted to share with you. I'll also post it to my Goodreads account, but life is like a box of chocolates, right? Oh no, that can't be right. I gave up sugar again. Shoot. Anyway, no, life is to me more like a puzzle. It's far healthier, isn't it? See, when you open the box, you look for the easiest pieces first, and that would be, for me, the edge pieces. Yep. So, once it's getting harder to see them, because you've gathered most of the edge pieces, once it's getting harder to see them in the midst of all of the others, you move on to something else that's obvious. And searching for pieces that will solve the most obvious part of the puzzle brings you in tune with its characteristics. You become keenly aware of its color or the texture you're looking for, and yet it seems that once you've become comfortable in finding those pieces, you begin to run out of them. Your eyes now adjust and become better at discerning the not-so-obvious things. Every so often, you have to simply walk away. Upon return, a day later, you see pieces that fit that you'd stared at repeatedly in confusion before. Once in a while, you find yourself glancing at the puzzle from a different angle, offering a new perspective. As you look from a new direction, you're able to see beyond the obvious things that our eye looks for, and pieces make sense for other than normal visual reasons. Once the puzzle comes close to completion, you've become familiar and more confident in your ability to solve it. Then it's done. Until you open up the next box, opening up a whole new challenge. I've been through, as all of us have, many difficult, joyful, frightening, and exciting changes in life. The journey through all have really mimicked the puzzle-likeness that I've just explained. There are definite struggles with any change, regardless of whether the change is for the better or the worse. There are times that the unfamiliar becomes wonderfully familiar, just in time for life to adjust once more. There are absolute feelings of accomplishment and relief when a life issue reaches a certain point, and lo and behold, just when I'm comfortable, God allows change once more. You see, God is my creator. He's my teacher and my guide. He came to me when I was a young adult and has led me into and through some very difficult times. I'm fortunate, however, because I knew him and trusted him. I've turned to him and hid my face quite a number of times, waiting for the time of comfort and familiarity as his plan takes shape in the puzzle of my life. What I have during all of this, a quality of his that I thankfully benefit from, is peace. I asked his Holy Spirit to live in me. That's the same Holy Spirit that lived here in Christ. Jesus promised it to those of us who ask. He explained that clearly before he returned to be with our Father in heaven. That Holy Spirit has all of the qualities, wisdom, characteristics, and power of God. In my simple trust that God has a plan for us here on earth, and in my belief that he planned for me to live here in this location, here in this time of history, and that he allows me to undergo all the good and bad experiences that I do, I'm able to sit back, watch his hand at work, and embrace the peace that only he can impart. This puzzle of life of mine is one that was carved out by my father, the master, the creator of all. All of the little pieces that I touch and bring together are an honor to me to be a part of, even the hard and troubling ones. But just as focused as I can be on my own puzzle, I know there are many more puzzles around the world that he's having multitudes of others put together. We may never meet or share the same puzzles to solve, but we each have purpose in his great plan. God is the only one with the answers. I'd like to encourage you to get to know him personally. In that intimate relationship, you'll grow to trust him, seek his guidance, and follow his direction, even though you'll have no idea where it will lead you. It's an exciting life following God in faith, and I wish God's peace to you. Thank you.